Hey, good evening, Natalie. The short answer is experts and doctors don't know exactly what is driving this surge in cases out west. But one thing they do know is it is likely to get worse before it gets better. By this point in the COVID pandemic, health officials had hoped the country would be turning a corner. But if you had asked me last June, July, with effective vaccines widely available, if we'd be in this kind of shape in the fall, oh, so that would not have been my expectation. Across the U.S., new COVID infections have been relatively flat. Places like Florida, Georgia, and Mississippi are seeing recent drops in new cases. But out west, in states with relatively high vaccination rates, it's a different story. Colorado, California, and now New Mexico, where the vaccination rate is 73%, are all seeing COVID surges. Even in Vermont, where 81% of the population has at least one vaccination dose, cases are up 51%. One Vermont college blames Halloween parties that resulted in dozens of new infections. In Colorado, where 62% of residents are vaccinated, they're not sure what's behind the surge. It could be colder weather, driving people indoors and into closer contact. Fewer people are wearing masks as pandemic fatigue sets in. But those are things that are true in other states, and experts say there seems to be no smoking gun. Our whole team has worked as hard as we can to see if there's one particular factor that we can point to and say, yes, this is it. Uh, we have failed to do so. And with people about to travel for Thanksgiving and holiday gatherings, experts warn the surges could get worse. You know, the holidays are time we get together, of course, and uh, we share lots of things of that, but those moments, including viruses, and uh, that, that is a worry. To help flatten the spikes, health officials are urging people to do two important things. Vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. The other is people don't need a mask mandate to wear a mask. Here in Colorado, this current surge means that hospitals like the one behind me here are running out of intensive care beds, which means for people suffering heart attacks and strokes, that urgent care is harder to get. We are also told that 80% of the people hospitalized for COVID infections are unvaccinated. Natalie.